Remember, no cheating, boy. Well, how are they treating you, Ed? All right? All came from Greenville. I've been thinking, Ed, it might not be a bad idea if you run for sheriff. Why? Well, Jim Handler's had the job long enough. Well, I wouldn't stand a chance to beat him. And I'd just lose a good job as chief deputy. I wouldn't be too sure about that. I've got a lot to say about what goes on around here, and I'll have more to say before the election. Howdy, Jim. What's gonna do for you? Not a thing. Just looking for Ed here. This place will run without you around here. Go on over to the office. Uh, yeah, I was just leaving. Just dropped in to get a snort. I'll see you later, Vic. All right. I don't like the looks of the crowd that's hanging around here, and it's getting worse all the time. Anyone that has money to spend is welcome here, and I'm not particular about their morals. Well, I am. What this town needs is a good house cleaning. And I'm sending for a friend of mine to help me do it. Wait a minute. What do you want? I want to have a talk with you. Come in my office. All right. Sit down. Well, what do you got on your mind? We'll be electing a sheriff pretty soon. And I'll make sure it's someone who's friendly and sensible. What do you mean by sensible? Look, Jim, this country can be worked like a gold mine, and I've got the crew to work it. Now, the next sheriff of this county can save himself a lot of trouble and get rich by doing nothing. You want me to throw in with a bunch of crooks? I'm offering you a chance to be reelected. I'm offering you a chance to get out of town. When the house cleaning starts, you're going right along with the rest of the trash. Allow me to congratulate you, Mr. Webster, on this editorial. It's an excellent piece of work. Just had to give yourself a little pat on the back, didn't you? Well, you did a fine job, and I'm proud of you. Hello, Dan. See you, Miss Betty. Hello, Jim. Evening, Sheriff. The honest people of this county better wake up to the fact that they got a pretty serious fight on their hands, and it's your duty to make them believe it. What fight are you talking about? The election. A gang of outlaws is organized to loot the county. And they intend electing a sheriff that won't cause them any trouble. Well, you can depend on our help. But who's in back of all that? Badly wounded. Get a doctor, Betty. Fuzzy, shake a leg. It's time we're getting started. Uh, I ain't certain I'm a going. Billy, our handsome partner's getting balky again. <laughs> yeah. What's the matter, Fuzz? Dad, right up, Billy, you know I'm a man that craves a calm and peaceful life. <laughs> How am I going to find that trail along with a couple of wild Indians like you and Jeff? <laughs> Everybody's bound to run into a little trouble now and sure. then. Sure, but you ain't satisfied with the trouble that just comes along and help. You've got to go prancing all over the cup way. <laughs> Look, why don't you put a nice, comfortable gopher hole and quit squawking? I got a right to squawk. Here we are, going out and sticking our nose in some election rumpus that ain't none of our business. But it is our business. 
it wasn't for Sheriff Jim Hanley, we wouldn't be here right now. And if he needs help, he's going to get it, whether you like it or not. You're forgetting what he did for us in Springfield. Mm, maybe so. You're carrying on like an old woman making a fuss over nothing at all. Chances are there won't be enough excitement to make it interesting. Any time there ain't enough excitement to go around, you can have... <laughs> I love you. Tree, what more do we need? Don't be in such a hurry, Jeff. I've never had any trouble with you. Why are you gunning for me? I had answered no question. Let's swing him now. Take it easy, take it easy. If you can. Get your horse. Come on. All right. Well, after that umbrella, he just took a shot at us. You mean that him? Sure. Certainly caught him in a hurry. All right, Jeff. Put a rope on him. Let go of the rope, Fuzzy. Let go of me. Hey, what do you aim to do with me? Nothing. Leave you tied right there. Hurry up, boys. We gotta get going. Hey, you can't leave me here alone, all tied up like this. <laughs> Would you like to take a little bet on it? Yeah, we'll be back this way in maybe a week or two. A week? Well, I'll starve to death. You're being treated better than you deserve. This ain't lawful. You've got to turn me over to the sheriff. You change your mind about not answering any questions? There's nothing I can tell you. I mistook you for someone else. Ah, uh, shucks. I could lie better than that with one hand tied behind my back. Oh, no, Fuzzy, that's not fair competition. After all, there's only two or three liars like you in the world. Why, you... Ah, uh, what do you say? Well, I, uh, I was trailing some rustlers. I seen the smoke from your campfire. I thought you was them. So long. I'll see you next week. If you're still around. Hey, wait. Don't leave me here. Why'd you try to murder me? I... I had orders to stop you. Who gave you the orders? I can't tell you that. He'd have me killed. Your chances for a long life ain't none too good right now. I give you one last chance. Who wanted me stopped? Who was it? Vic Landro. Vic Landro? I don't even know him. What's he got against me? He knew that Jim Hanley sent for you. That was enough for him. Ah, uh, it begins to make sense. But how did Landro know that Jim had for me? I don't know anything about that. All I know is Vic gave orders to have you stopped. Ah, oh, what's the use of fooling with him? Where's a good, strong limb? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're taking him back to town. Alive? Alive, sure alive. He's no good to me dead. He ain't worth a nickel to me on the hoof. All right, on time. Nice, calm election. Quiet and peaceable. No excitement. You started this. 
If you weren't tied up, I'd smack you down. Tell the truth or I'll drill you. Remember that. Are I doing what you tell me? I only wish I'd get half an excuse to drill you and your boss. Jeff, let me handle this. Don't you kick over the apple cut. Come on. Someone asking for me? Fuzzy, Jeff, keep your eyes open. Yeah. Thought I'd offer you a chance to do your own killing for a change. When I have any killing to be done, I always do it myself. I've heard different. I don't care what you've heard. I heard it from the man you sent to shoot me in the back. I sent no one to shoot you. Seems to make you out a liar. What are you trying to do, pick a fight with me? <laughs> now it's my turn. Why'd you try to have me murdered? Well, what's going on here? Who are you and what's your business in town? It looks like someone hired him to get me into a gunfight. All right, it's the other way around, Sheriff. Go on, speak your piece. Guilty enough. Now you fellas get out of town and don't be slow in starting. We'll see what Jim Hanley has to say about that. I'm afraid Jim Hanley won't have much to say about anything. He's dead. Dead? How'd that happen? He was killed the other night. Who killed him? I don't know. Maybe you know something about that. Murder seems to be along your line. Still trying to prod me into a fight, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I can't see where I've got anything to win by obliging you. Now, listen, I'm acting sheriff until someone's elected. Now, get talk about leaving town after you arrest the man that killed Jim Hanley. Well, I'm sure that no one would be more anxious to find Jim's murderer than I am. That's fine. And you should welcome all the help you can get. Come on, let's go. That peanut-eating sheriff ought to have his ears slapped down. Oh, you get so head up about everything, Jeff. Why don't you learn to keep a cool head? You see what you've done? You got my calm and peaceable life all shot plumb full of holes. <laughs> there you are. Too much rumpus for one and the other crying for more. <laughs> How can I keep you both happy? But seriously, fellas, Jim Hanley was our friend. We've got to find the man that killed him. I'm stringing along with you. Me too. I'm waiting to have my calm and peaceable life after this job's over. <laughs> You'd have saved a lot of trouble if Butcher had done the job I sent him out to do. Now we have to have trouble with this Billy the Kid. Listen, I couldn't afford to stand pat on running him out of town and having the folks say I did it just because they were friends of Jim Handley's. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Look at this. Webster's still fighting me in the paper to get someone to run against me for sheriff. Stop worrying. You've got no competition. I will have if you don't stop him. I offered to buy his paper. And I think before long he'll be glad to sell out. Well, I hope you're right. Did you want something? Some of the boys don't like the things you've been saying about them in the paper. This paper stands for a decent, law-abiding town. Maybe we can persuade you to change your tune. You got nothing to brag about. You ain't even got brains enough to be cautious. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now, Billy is different. He don't go plowing into a fight like a bear with a sore head. 
Do you, Bill? Yes. Hey, where's he going? Why ask me? How do I know? You've got no business in there. Keep moving. by now. Better go on over and arrest them for disturbing the peace. They'll be fined and given a severe scolding. Leave it to the sheriff to do his duty. <laughs> oh, I believe my arm is broken. I'll go get a doctor. I uh, beg pardon, ma'am, but uh, what's this all about? Those bullies beat my father for no reason except that Dad is fighting to make this a decent, law-abiding town. He's carrying on the work that cost Jim Hanley his life. He was murdered because he wouldn't allow the town to be overrun by a gang of outlaws. That's a scrubby-looking bunch you got there, Fuzzy. Uh, they ain't exactly prized beauties. Yeah, you know, that wasn't a nice way for you boys to act. Now get busy and clean up the mess you've made. You're making a lot of trouble for yourself. <laughs> I've done that for years. I'm sure getting used to it. Yeah, but you don't know the brand of trouble we're passing out around here. We're willing to be shown. Now get going and clean that up. You, Hardy, get down on your knees and pick up that alphabet. And pick it up in alphabetic order, too. <laughs> <coughs> hey, what's going on around here? Nothing much. A few of the boys got a mite rambunctious. We had to gentle them down. You mean you gentled old four? Sure. <laughs> Wasn't much of a job. You know, your bad boys around here aren't very tough. Come on, get busy. You'll win no turtle race. <laughs> you too. <laughs> yeah. So I see. I mean, I've always wanted to run a newspaper, though. How could you run a newspaper when you can't even spell it? Well, did you get rid of my boyfriends? I didn't have to. Billy and his pals took care of them for me. What do you mean? When I went in the shop, Joe and the boys were crawling around on the floor like a bunch of chickens picking up corn. And from the looks of them, they'd had quite a going over. So they bungled the job, huh? Well, why didn't you arrest Billy and his pals? They need to have a perfect alibi to get rid of them before the election. Well, you're not worried about the election now, are you? I'm not. There ain't no one running against me. Yeah, I know. A fine mess you've made of things. Here, I've got a perfect setup with a lot of money for all of us, and you four can't go out and do the simple job of busting up a newspaper run by an old man and a girl. Well, it was all right until them strangers horned in. When they fight, they ain't human. Oh, that cook's there, Goose. They want to come in here and spoil my game. Well, I hear you boys got it working over. You've got nothing to brag about, and you better keep out of sight. You know, it wouldn't be a bad idea if Billy the Kid caught up with you. And Ed here could arrest him for murder, and he'd be out of our way. Yeah, but what about me? Ah, who cares about you? I'd just as soon you figured out some other way of getting rid of him. Gila Valley used to be a peaceful, 
law-abiding place. We were proud to live here. And it can be again if the honest people will stand together and elect a sheriff who will do his duty. You all know how things have been getting worse ever since Jim Hanley was murdered. Vicious riffraff are swarming into town, and there's no respect for the law. Ed Slade is either a coward, or he's in with a gang of outlaws who are trying to take over our town. There's no use just talking about Ed Slade, Betty, unless you get somebody to run against him for sheriff. Oh! oh. Now what have you done? Oh. Oh. oh! I always said your folks should have drowned you when you was a pup. Stop picking on him. Jeff Fuzzy's all right. <laughs> he's just unfortunate. Thanks, Billy. It's nice to know I got one friend in the world. <laughs> That's okay, Fuzz. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got some ink on my hand. I think you have. <laughs> what happened? Well, somebody was out here spying. Who was it? I don't know. He cracked me on the head before I had a good look at him. Are you all right? Oh, I'm all right, ma'am. Just a mite dizzy. Then he's feeling normal. That other crowd's not fooling. You boys got a fight in your hands. Jim Hanley must have thought pretty high of Ed Slade to make him his chief deputy. But Jim could have been fooled. He wouldn't be the first man to have a friend betray him. I know it's dangerous. Whoever runs against Ed Slade may be risking his life. But someone must volunteer. Uh, why not me? I've always had a hanker to become a sheriff, and uh, besides, it'd give me a chance to settle down. Would you? Would I? Why, no man's ever beat me to the draw yet. <coughs> All right, Fuzzy, you run for sheriff against Ed Slade, and I'm sure everyone here will back you. Vote for him! You don't mean that, do you, Billy? Like Miss Betty says, it is a dangerous job, and Fuzzy might get himself killed. Don't worry about it, Jeff. We'll do the work. He can wear the badge. <laughs> Come on, let's take a walk. Now, you boys all know how long I worked for Jim Hanley. Sure. sure. Yeah. Well, he uh, seemed satisfied that I knew my job, didn't he? Sure. 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 Uh, pardon me, boys. Howdy, Sheriff. You got crime under control? Has anybody told you different? Well, there might be a little question about that. By the way, I got some mighty bad news for you. Yeah, what is it? Well, fine man's gonna run against you for sheriff, Fuzzy Jones. When they find a job's too tough for anybody else, they always send for Fuzzy. Might as well give up, Sheriff. You don't stand a chance. Well, we'll see about that. You know he ain't elected until after the votes are counted. You're right, but uh, that depends on who counts the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, boys. The drinks are on me. Wow. <laughs> Huh. Elect Fuzzy Jones, a man who will bring law and order to Gila Valley. Jim Hanley gave his life fighting for this, and Ed Slade has not even made an effort to find his murderer. Is he the kind of man you want for sheriff? Well, this won't help Ed's popularity any. Hey, Vic, take a look at this paper. Well, Slade looks like you're going to have a little competition after all. Hey, what are you going to do about that? Don't worry, he won't run. I wouldn't be so sure about that. He's got some very good backing. If you plan to stick around this town, you better mind your own business. Well, thanks for the tip. I'll think it over. I've known of people dying who was careless about that. Oh, I'm not careless. Just careful. <laughs> take out the rest of the papers, I'll get started. Yes, ma'am, I'm just a man that can do it. You sure you can manage? Oh, I think so. I guess I should have made two trips. I should think one trip like that would be enough.
Boys. I'll see that every vote. Well, hadn't I better go with you? Oh, I'll be all right. You stay and look after the office. All right. Well, I wouldn't mind if she didn't get back till after the election. Hello, Ed. Ha. Oh, why should you and me be locking horns? We're both friends of Jim Henley. Ain't that true? That's right. I've got no argument with you, as long as you keep the peace. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I never did like to kick a sheriff around. Yep, so long, Ed. Remember what I told you about minding your own business. <laughs> Howdy, Sheriff. What are you doing? I'm going to print me up a notice for any maverick to beware of Buckshot, who enters this premises with felonious intent. Yeah. Hey, wait a minute. Where'd you get that word felonious? Oh, over there in the dictionary. That book's full of words like that. <laughs> and believe me, when I'm Sheriff, I'm going to be able to use that word plenty. <laughs> but tell me. How's an uneducated fella gonna know whether he's being felonious or not? By the number of buckshot he's got in his carcass. <laughs> and believe me, I... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Fuzzy. Well, there's no use crying over a spilled alphabet. Yeah. I'm sure glad Jeff wasn't here. <laughs> By the way, where is he? He's out scouting around looking for that bushwhacker took a shot at us. We think he's hiding out around here someplace. Sure tosses a mean alphabet. Yeah, she's roasting the hide off Vic Landro. <laughs> That's only the start. She's out now with the latest edition, just scanning up from here to breakfast.
Hiya, Billy. Fuzzy. Hi. Any luck, Jeff? No, but I found a stray team in a buckboard. No one around, so I brought it in. Well, uh, let's advertise it in the paper and demand a reward. You know, I'm in charge here. Now, uh, what description of that? Uh, Hey, where did you find that wagon? Come on, where did you find that wagon? What's the matter with you? Think I stole it? No, but Miss Betty just drove off on that not long ago. What? Miss Betty? Yeah. Let's find out what happened. Come on. stay here, so you might as well calm down and make the best of it. We'll do everything we can to make you feel at home. You know, it's a long walk back to town. Get some water and make some coffee. We can't take a chance in a gunfight. That girl's in there, she's liable to get hurt. Maybe we can trick him on coming outside. Well, that's a good idea, Fuzzy. We can use you for bait. Yes, sir. That's me. I... Hey, what <laughs> is this? Never mind. Listen, as soon as the way is clear, get that girl and then pick me up. What are you going to do? I haven't got time to explain. We better work down. We better work down closer to the cabin. What you're told, and you won't get hurt. What do you want me to do? Get out there in the open, shout to your friend. Get going. Go on, shout. Hey! Cut! Oh. Hey! Butch! Curly! Come here, quick! Hurry up! Go see what's the matter with Joe. I'll stay here and watch the girl. Ready for a quick getaway. I'm always ready. All right, now head that way and keep going, or I'll plug you. Go on, move!
Hello, Dry Gulcher. snap out of it. You're going to be elected sheriff tomorrow, not hung. I wish I was sure of that. Look, I'm playing for a big jackpot, and I ain't got time to sit here and hold your hand. What's the matter with you? Listen, Vic, I've got a funny feeling. Just like when I was a kid that used to say somebody was walking over your grave. Come on, get out there and look happy. Come on. Well, the drinks is on the house, boys. And to our next sheriff, Ed Slade. I want you to have a good time, but... Be able to vote tomorrow. All right, everybody up to bar. Now make sure I'm back to this line, will you? Let's go. All right, all right. with him is the last thing I ever do. It probably will be. That guy ain't human. Come outside. It's about the murder of Jim Hanley. Oh. All right, what is it? Not here. Let's go down the street away. I'll put an end to that newspaper once and for all. You have everybody on hand tomorrow. We've got to elect Ed Slade sheriff. You might have a little trouble doing that. Wait a minute. Now, what is all that you know about Jim Hanley's murder? Well, the day he was shot, a big man with a little black mustache was hanging around the front of the newspaper office. Yeah, go on. And he, uh, he, did I say a big man with a little mustache? Yeah, yeah, what'd he do? Oh, shucks, that, that wasn't right. It was a little man with a big mustache. A little man with a big black mustache? Yeah, yeah. Well, what did he do? Uh, uh, let's see, it was like this. No. Was now, wait a minute. What are you trying to do? Make a fool out of me? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I have it. Get the fuck. Jim Hamlin was standing just about like that. No, he was over a little bit fluttered. He was like that. Yeah. When the little mustache come running with the big man, and he went...
Sit down. Why, well, you can't get by with this. I'm the law. I'll give you a chance to prove that. Who killed Jim Henley? Well, I've told you before, I don't know. Don't know. It's too bad for you. What do you mean? You'll name the killer, take his punishment yourself. Well, you've known me a long time, Miss Webster. You can't let them do this to me. Don't expect any help from me. Jim Hanley was my friend and worth a thousand like you. Why, this is murder. A man's entitled to a trial. You're on trial right now. Well, you can't blame a man for not being able to do the impossible. Maybe I didn't do my duty as I should, but I didn't protect any killers. I'll tell you. I'll get out, and you all elect who you want for sheriff. Fuzzy, you got that rope? All stretched and ready for the drop. Hanging's not a pleasant way to die. It's not so bad when a man's got a gun in his hand. There's a chance of fighting back. But to sit on a horse with a rope around your neck, waiting. Just waiting for that horse to move. You drop. Stop! Stop! I'll tell you. Butch Hogan did the killing. On orders from Vic Landro. Betty, pencil and paper. You'll write that all down. Honest. I didn't have a thing in the world to do with the killing. Write it down. Tell all you know about Landro and his gang. Jeff, help. Maybe I'd better go in first. Ow! Ooh, I nearly broke my neck. Oh, you're always falling over your own feet. Ooh. Ow. What was that? Hold still, everyone, and I'll light a lamp. You didn't have anything to do with this. Here we've got a story to bust this town wide open and no newspaper to print it. What do we do now? Just what we started out to do. Print a newspaper. How? Oh. We can sort out enough type to set up a form and we'll print it by hand. All right, everybody, down on your knees. Let's start hurting type. All right, Slade, sit down. Wait, Jeff, give me a hand with this press. Just saw a light over in the newspaper office. They're welcome to what's left of it. Say, have you seen Ed Slade? No, I haven't seen him for quite a while. Probably in bed with the covers pulled up over his head. <laughs> Pour us a drink, Harry. Yes, sir. Make mine straight bourbon. Fuzzy, give me Landro in 16 point and a pack of A and T. Hey, listen, if I could find an A in this mess, I wouldn't give a hoop what nationality it was. <laughs> Here's a G. I sure did. Ah, uh, this ought to be enough. You've done a swell job, Betty. I had a lot of swell help. Doesn't look like much, but it's the most important newspaper this town ever had. I guess Fuzzy and Jeff should have delivered quite a number by now. It's all that noise. Oh, 
Have a smoke on me, Jack. How's it going? Nothing to worry about. Keep everything going, will you? I will. Betty, pick me out a nice clean copy. I'm going to deliver it to Vic Landro in person. Must you? Well, good luck. Thanks. Surprised to see you, Billy. I thought you would be. You didn't take my advice about minding your own business, did you? <laughs> no, as a matter of fact, it sort of slipped my mind. I thought you might be interested in this. Most everyone in the countryside's reading it by now. That's a lie. You know it's true, Landro. I got it in black and white, signed by that friend of yours, Ed Slade. I don't want to kill you, Landro. I want you to answer to the law just to make sure. Like we missed all the fun. Yeah, what happened? Just collecting a prisoner for the new sheriff. Guess that'll be you, Fuzzy. And yeah, looks like a job for the coroner, too. Yeah, that couldn't be helped. All right, get him out of here. Come on out here, we're going. Uh, take good care of them. Uh, this town is too calm and peaceful for them now. Yeah, it's nine times. I bet you will, Fuzzy. Still rip snorting wildcat when you get going. Yahoo! Uh, 
Keep everything under control. And, and if you need any help, don't worry. I can handle everything in this situation. <laughs> Who's your friend? Put her there. That's it, wait. So long. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Well, men, I guess we might as well start to clean up this town right now. Hey, sir, there's murder being committed down at the saloon. Who's doing it? Well, never mind who's doing it. I said it was murder. Hey, Billy, hey, Jeff, come hey. back here. You're the sheriff, Fuzzy. Go along. Oh, that's right. Hey, men, come on. Come, come on, on, let's go. Come on. Come on. How about this? Hey. 